Well, hello to all my wonderful YouTube fans. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. Curious on what I'm doing today. I got a review for you today of my homemade battery backup system sitting right over here on my stereo itself. If I can able to lift it on thing. Thing is, heavy as a beast, basically. And the reason why I want to do an awesome review of it is to kind of show you what I done last year and why I made it, why I put it together. Basically, in case that the power goes out and I have some way to charge my devices and also power certain things with this battery bank. Like this. Freaking heavy. But yeah, it's awesome. But basically, let's go ahead and show you what it all looks like, the inside of it too, and show you how this thing actually works. Freaking awesome. Let's have some fun. I powered a lot of things with this battery backup system. For example, a desktop computer, a TV, a VCR, maybe my Bose unit, of course, the printer, my stereo, a laptop. And you're going to say, how do you do all that? You use a DC to AC inverter, basically. Make sure you have a very strong one too, because if not, it may not power all those devices at once. Let's go ahead and show you what I mean. Basically, what I have over here is my system itself, uh, basically. And I really do love building things and putting things together. If you're curious, we do have a voltage meter, 12 volts, a couple USB ports, here and here, USBs, three uh, cigarette outlets, 12 volts, okay, all the same anyways. And of course, a LED strip light powers off the battery with uh, 12 volts as well and of course the switch on top can I see it right though and we're looking around the whole tile unit we also have my main switch my charging port with its main switch and a non cigarette outlet and now you're gonna say Chris how do you power AC stuff with this little inverter All right and we're gonna get into the guts of everything of how this all works and how it built it and the safety as well. Yes, you can buy your own battery backup system if you choose, but the problem is they're very expensive. But with my unit and the reason why I built my system, everything can be replaced on this unit. You're curious on what the battery I am using it's a 12 volt steel loaded acid battery with 26 milliamps of capacity. Curious on the fuses and the wiring I used. I have three types of wiring. I have 12 gauge for 20 amp circuits, 10 gauge for 30 amp circuits, and also 14 for 15 amp circuits basically in this system itself. And it's freaking amazing. Let's go ahead and show you what I mean. Basically, here is my unit, basically. It's all custom made by me, and I like building things and putting things together. Let's go ahead and see if I can get this lit up here. Basically, it's kind of a pain in the butt with the lid itself. It's a little heavier, but that's okay. But basically, here's everything, what it looks like on the inside. Here is the battery itself. Of course, everything here looks very nice. Awesome. This does your homemade battery backup work or not? Can we please see it in action? And yes, you can. Let's go and show you what I'm talking about. But basically, here is my homemade system I made last year. And it's freaking amazing. 
Okay, so what this is, this is called a inverter. Uh, basically, it takes DC and converts it into AC by this little device, basically. And I can turn my lamp on or my lamp off. But here is basically everything down below inside the actual battery box itself. Here is the battery itself. Of course, these are my terminals. Basically, I spread them apart to make sure no sparks or anything. This is a 10 amp fuse, uh, basically, for my charging circuit. This is a 20 amp uh, circuit with a 20 amp fuse. Going over here to this unit, basically, my cigarette outlet hot all the time. This 30 amp uh, circuit goes to this 30 amp switch. And if you kind of follow the wiring, and kind of see up here. This is my fuse block. This is my ground uh, block as well, bus ball. And you kind of see right here, this is three uh, cigarette outlets. You kind of see how thing is 15. And these are two USBs. And this here is my voltage meter. Let's go ahead and uh, put the lid down. Let's go ahead and turn everything on. And it's powering it pretty good. Nice. To all my awesome fans out there, do I look very stressed out? Yes, I am. I am very stressed, basically. I have not been getting enough sleep. And yes, sometimes my videos can also stress me out. And sometimes my real job can also stress me out as well. But hey. It's life, what can you do? But basically, let's continue finishing the review of this item right here. It's basically my homemade backup system, uh, basically. And I got news for you, it ain't late, it's fucking heavy. And you're curious on why it's so heavy? It's because it has that one big giant sealed lead acid 12 volt battery inside of this unit. If you're curious on why I built it, it's for emergencies purposes, say if I lose power here at home, how I'm going to see or how I'm going to actually charge certain small items and also powering AC items off of this unit. If you're curious, this is a LED strip light on the front of the battery box. But basically, I love designing things, and I love putting things together. It's all how it works to your advantage and your needs as well. And this thing is not light. It is a very heavy system. But yes, it can also be self-contained too, if you had a solar uh, charger, controller, and solar panels uh, for this item as well. But sadly... I don't have any of that right now, but basically I charge it by the charging plug from my wall socket, basically. But alright, you guys and girls are subscribing to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out, we'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. Catch you later, and have a nice day.